Hello everyone. Welcome back to Scadia.com. Best medical learning platform all over the world. Today, the topic we are going to discuss is thyroid and antithyroid drugs. The thyroid gland secretes two iodinated hormones called triiodotyronine, T3, and thyroxin, also called as levothyroxine, tetraiodothyronine, T4, which are responsible for the optimal growth, development, function, and maintenance of body tissues. Another hormone, calcitonin, is produced by the parafollicular cells and is involved in the regulation of calcium metabolism. The synthesis of T3 and T4 requires iodine, which is normally ingested as iodide in the diet. An active, thyrotrophin-dependent pump concentrates the iodide in the follicular cells where, at the apical boundary, it is rapidly oxidized by peroxidase to the more reactive iodine. The iodine reacts with tyrosine residues present in thyroglobulin and units of T3 and T4 are formed. The thyroglobulin containing these iodothyronins is stored in the follicles as colloid. When the circulating levels of T3 and T4 fall, thyrotrophin is released from the anterior pituitary gland and stimulates the transport of colloid by endocytosis into the follicular cells. Then, the colloid droplets fuse with lysosomes and protease enzymes degrades the thyroglobulin, releasing T3 and T4 into the circulation. Thyroid hyperfunction and hypofunction occur in about 2% of the population and, together with diabetes mellitus, 2-3% to of the population are the most common endocrine disorders. In Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism is produced by an IgG antibody that causes prolonged activation of the TSH receptors and results in excessive secretion of T3 and T4. Thyroid activity can be reduced with drugs that decrease hormone synthesis or by the destruction of the gland with radiation or surgery. Hyperthyroidism often causes increased sympathetic effects, which can be blocked with beta adrenoceptor antagonists, for example, propranolol. Graves' disease is often associated with ophthalmopathy, which can be difficult to control and may be a distinct organ-specific autoimmune disease. Primary hypothyroidism, myxoedema, probably results in most cases from a cell-mediated immune response directed against the thyroid follicular cells. Levothyroxine is the drug of choice for replacement therapy because it has a longer half-life than leothyronin and can be given once daily. Thyrotrophin-releasing hormone, TRH, is a tripeptide synthesized in the hypothalamus and transported in the capillaries of the pituitary portal venous system to the pituitary gland, where it stimulates TSH synthesis and release. Thyrotrophin, TSH, is a glycoprotein hormone that is released from the pituitary gland. It activates receptors on the follicular cells and increases cyclic adenosine monophosphate, CAMP, which stimulates the synthesis and release of hormones from the thyroid gland. In hypothyroidism or, rarely, iodine deficiency, abnormally high levels of TSH result in the enlargement of the thyroid gland goiter. Triiodothyronin and thyroxin enter the circulation, where they are transported largely bound to plasma proteins, 99.5% and 99.95%, respectively. About 4-5% of T4 is deodinated to inactive reverse T3 according to the demands of the tissues. T4 seems to be mainly a prohormone of T3. The mechanisms of action of the thyroid hormones are not fully understood, but are thought to involve high affinity binding sites in the plasma membrane, mitochondria, and nucleus. These receptor hormone interactions result in a variety of effects, including increased protein synthesis and an increase in energy metabolism. 